One. And that one fouled off. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch missed just it. misses. Two and two. It's a good take. The pitch. Got him. And that's the first out. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up and as a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're trying to protect away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes it's hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called the ball but either way that's a really nice pitch and now Vinny Pasquantino out towards left center Larnick on the move to the alley brings it in with a nice running grab and there's two away. The catch is number 13, Salvador. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Rip to short. Correa over to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. KC down in order. And now the Twins will go to work on offense. We've got no score. You're dialed into the show. Back in Minnesota. On the hill here today, Brady Singer. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Max Kepler at the plate. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Off the mark oh. there, and now three and one. The wind of the pitch. Three, two now. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the heading zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The wind to kick the pitch. Caught him looking for the K. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. And he deals. Popped up. Makes the grab for the second out. Batting third, the shortstop, Carlos. Two outs, base is empty. Carlos Correa getting ready to hit. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Swang and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. This is off the inside. Two balls Two and a ball, strike. strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Next pitch That's is downstairs. Correa off of first with two away. In 
for a strike. Now it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score him. And the right-hander deals. High fly ball out into left center field. Reyes sizing this one up. Snags it on the run. And that is that. One left for Minnesota. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. And here is Edward Olivares. Edward Olivares. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Our play down by Freddie Ferguson. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. And he takes it himself for the out. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great that yeah. one in for a strike two and two and a pitch and that one almost got him a swing and a miss and now two gone he came out of his mechanics there typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way but that time a little anxious now it's Fran Mil Reyes in the air center field Kepler on his way over squeezes it and that'll do it So they make short work of them there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. And now it's going to be Trevor Larnick. Trevor Larnick. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Here's a 1 1. Gallo. Line drive, come on! That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he could have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Nick Gordon now at the plate. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Out to short. Throw to first is in time. Bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. Down go the Twins in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, and to the play for Kansas City, Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier. And a pitch. I mean, that's perfect location One, right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. 
They're so oh, tough huh? to do anything with as a hitter. The 2 2 now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Comes the 2 2. That's the ball. Count is full. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. So up now for Kansas City, Jackie Bradley Jr. The 1-1 is fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Bradley waits. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now one away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now it's Matt Duffy. Pitch misses and a count two and one. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. Gonna count one and two. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Dozier off of first with two away. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. And a base hit on the line. Headed for the plate. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. It's 2-0. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So runner at second, two down. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. The one two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Two outs and one in scoring position. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. This is Willie Castro. Yes, Strike two. One and two. The count. Now this is in the air down the line. 
Reyes makes the catch and there's one gone. Batting none. The catcher. Christian Vasquez the hitter. Kicks and fires. In the air, left field, down the line, and that's a fair ball. Just a blue bit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder, so he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Now batting Max Kepler. Struck out looking at the bottom of the first. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. At the belt and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Got him. Two out. They'll just rip the page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Throw that pitch the at the three. hip and just oh, watch man. it jump back over the inside Whoa. part of the plate. Oh. Tell you what, you are baffled expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. Jorge Polanco, the next twin up to hit. First time up was a pop out. And now it's filled up. Pitch. Ground ball back Duffy. Throws to first. Out number three. Twins wind up stranding one. They trail things here. Two nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH. Edward Olivares. Edward Olivares. That one the other way, and it stays fair. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Nick Prado. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. That one missed. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Olivares gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And that one lifted in the air center field. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. That's a really nice play ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And next up for the Royals, Fran Mil Reyes. And here it comes. Good eye right there. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Payoff pitch. And ball Take four to a board. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give now, pitchers now. a break up They're in the crazy. zone like that. Hunter. First and second, one out. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. He walked and came around to score his first time up. A 3 1. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. 
And the righty deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Righty to the plate. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And Vasquez able to pull it down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. And a 2 1 on the way. Oh. Matt Duffy up next. First and second, two down. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Larnick gliding in towards the infield. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that will end the inning. Royals strand a pair, but they're on top 2 nothing. Bottom of the inning, digging in, Carlos Correa. Not shortstop. Carlos Correa. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. This to third. Whips it across. That takes care of Correa. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the oh, air. Good. Lets the defense work behind him but with another ground here. ball. Good execution. Oh, Here's Byron oh, Buxton. Good. Glide out his first time. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. One, Bo two. Jackson, anyone? On the ground to short. Zips it across. Yep. That takes care of Buxton. Oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Here's Trevor Larnick. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Left-hand batter waits. Pitch misses there, and the count is even, two and two. Next pitch misses, full count now. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swings and misses, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing here for the Twins, and they're down two nothing. On the mound now for the Twins, Bailey over. This is his third time out this year. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Twins, number 17, Bailey over. Matt Duffy to lead it off. His first hit bat was a strikeout. The second base, Matt Duffy. The pitch. Smash down the left field line. And that one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases.
So the Royals batting order turns over. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. One for two. And there's ball four. Take your base. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much now gifted him first base the with first a base quick base. free pass. Vinny. And to the plate for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The 2 1. Ground ball right side, sneaks through, base hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Base is loaded, nobody out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Here's the catcher to hit, Salvador Perez. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lost the handle on that one. Duffy at third, Witt on second. Pasquintino on at first with nobody out. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Two and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Larnick makes the catch. Both runners tagging. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're up by three. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out, but she'll take it. Now it's up to the guys coming up behind him who pick up the rest of those runners on base. So here's the cleanup hitter, Edward Olivares. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Kicks and deals. Out towards right center field. Gordon settles underneath it. Makes the grab. Runner tags for home. He scores on the sack fly, and it's 4-0. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And now the right fielder, Nick Prado. Left-hand hitter waits. Way out front for strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Royals four and the Twins nothing. Back at target field, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for the Twins, Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Now one fouled off, two and two. Righty delivers. And now the count filled up three and two. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, throw to first. And they take care of Gallo for the out. The center field, Nick Gordon, the next twin up to hit. Grounded out his first time. One down, base is empty. So now one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got it by him for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Minnesota, Willie Castro. He's 0 for 1. Here comes a pitch. Left field, Reyes should have this one. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Twins are set down 1, 2, 3.
They're down 4 nothing. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Franmil Reyes. The left fielder, number 99, Franmil Reyes. Next offering is in the dirt. Well, these Royals really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk. So a man aboard, Hunter Dozier, steps in for the Royals. He's 0 for 1. Right handed reliever. Ripped, but it curls foul. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. The pitch. Just missing there. Yeah, that's ball two. Two and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. The bat. The and now the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie Bradley Jr. There's some swing and miss, but he's got some pop as well. The best example. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. A two-run shot, and they add a couple more. It's 6 nothing, And with the six-run lead, there are fans that are starting to head to the exits. Boot. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. The left-hander on now, Giovanni Moran. He's into the game with the bases empty. Matt Duffy steps in for the Royals. And a pitch. Swings through that one. Two balls, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. That's, That's a little bit low. Count is full. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Gets a piece and stays alive. Still only one out here in the inning. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And Vasquez is able to pull it down. The bat at number seven. Bobby Witt Back to the top of the lineup. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Two outs. That missed two inside. One. And it's two and one. Good eye in that spot. Three one. And now the lefty, 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Vinny Pasquantino will hit next. And a pitch. Run around the goal. Fouls one off. Two and two. And he deals. Rudder goes again. Pitch is high. 
Safe at second, and that was not close. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Two-run shot for the Royals this inning. It's now a 6-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Minnesota. So here's Christian Vasquez. The catcher. Christian Vasquez. Rips that one center field. Grabs it on the run. One away. Up next is the twin. The right field. So up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Ball to strike. And that's outside. No, that's outside. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot oh, next pitch is inside and a count is three and one here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense three one count be ready to turn right. on a fastball and now a full count it really full looks count. like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball excellent slider but they've not yeah. been able to commit to one velocity and stay there And now it's the switch hitting yeah, second, second baseman, baseman, Jorge Polanco. Jorge. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. One, two. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes no, I'll tell you four. man it's such sure a good job, feeling uh, when you smoke the line drive into the gap whoa, like that I'm mean, sure home runs are king but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way so two down Carlos Correa the next to hit Polanco leads off first with two down to the inning. Good job to fight that one off. Three two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One left for Minnesota. Still up against a 6-0 deficit. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. So up now for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. Number 13, Salvador Perez. Red. And now it's even up. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Griffin Jacks warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. And now two and two. And another ball. Rip to right, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. And he's into second with nobody out. Now nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Edward Olivares digs in now. Runner leads away at second. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 
Runner at second, nobody out. The next offering oh. misses, and it's two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And there's a ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. He goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm now sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now at the plate, Nick Prado. The pitch. And a ball oh. evens the count. One out and a runner at second. Sets him down looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Third time he struck out in this one and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Now the left fielder, Fran Mil Reyes. And a pitch. In the air, left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. Now a long throw home. Slides his hand in there, safe. And they're pulling away up by seven now. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. And next up for the Royals, Hunter Dozier. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Reyes around third. Not in time. He's safe. And it's an eight run lead. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. Now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's already homered in this game. Man at second. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's 9-0. And in its second with an RBI double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Griffin Jacks gets the call from the pen. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And to the plate for Kansas City, Matt Duffy, one for three. That's in there, and it's one and two. And the pitch. And that one missing low. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Just a slow ground ball this time. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. 2-2 Two -two now. Swing and a slow roller. And foul ball. Misses, counts full three and two. Bobby Witt Jr. waits on deck. Three and two now. Hard hit down the line and left. Larnick makes the catch, and that is that. 
Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Seventh inning stretch time. Royals nine, and the Twins nothing. And welcome back. And now, Byron Buxton. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. That misses off the outside edge. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And it's filled up. They haven't scored yet in this game. And with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Perez calls it in, and there's one away. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Trevor Larnick, the next twin up to hit. Ball to strike, the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Now back, first baseman, Joey Gallo. Here's Joey Gallo. The wide to kick the pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. He steps on the bag. And the Twins go 1-2-3. This one pretty well decided at this point. Eighth inning coming up. Royals nine and the Twins nothing. We go to the eighth and now Bobby Witt Jr. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And now two balls and a strike. Outside. Movement in the bullpen. Jorge Lopez, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Two one now. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. 2-2. Two -two. That one is hammered right field. Way back there, and it hits the fence. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. All over yeah, that yeah, one right yeah. there. The Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Pass Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hard hit, right side. Steps on first for the out. Now back, catch it. Salvador Perez. Next to hit, Salvador Perez. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The 1 1. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Stays alive. One away with a runner at third. And down on strikes. That's out number two. Here's the Royals designated hitter, Edward Olivares. The one, two. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Royals leave one, but they still hold a nine nothing lead.
New arm out of the bullpen, Ryan Yarbrough. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Here's the center fielder, Nick Gordon. The center fielder, Nick Gordon. 2-2 two -two down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. That one just okay. misses. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes That's off speed. Man. Gets the out. The third baseman. Willie. Castro. And now for the Twins, Willie Castro. A switch hitter batting right. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Reyes makes the play. Two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Brad Keller preparing to come on if needed. The 1-2. Good eye right oh. there. And that misses oh, off the outside edge. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. And here it comes. And down on strikes he goes. That's the inning. So they go quietly there. Ninth inning coming up. Royals nine, and the Twins nothing. We go to the ninth. So up now for Kansas City, Nick Prado. Nick Prado. Next offering way upstairs. This one rip, but foul to the right. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. At the belt and fires. Good That's eye right there. Full count. Got him looking. Frozen with a backdoor slider. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back Delay. over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The one-two. Right Back. through there. Got him. Now two out. Now got it. 
So digging in, Hunter Dozier. And the righty deals. Out to short, Correa. Rolls across the diamond. That's the third out. Nothing doing here this half. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. Royals nine and the Twins nothing. Welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Max Kepler. The right fielder, Max Kepler. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And now the count is even. In the air to left center. Witt drifts towards it. And there's one away. Now that second baseman. And next for Minnesota, Jorge Polanco. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. The 1-1. One, one. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. No swing. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. And a big swing and a miss. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Goes down looking. Now Correa the up to hit. Shortstop, Carlo Correa. And a 1-1. That's to third. Throw to first, that'll do it. And the Royals take this one in a blowout. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter is saying, hey, I hope you guys save some runs for me. I want to get a win as well. Nine, nothing, your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.